This is Ashley from the iRoofing team, and today I'm going to show you the app's estimator tool. In today's video, I did a quick estimate in just 2 minutes 52 seconds. This is a big part of iRoofing because it basically summarizes everything you've done for a client within the software. Everything from your logo to project information, photos you've mocked up for the client during your roof inspection process, the measurement report you've generated, simulated photos of their new roof, the scope of work and material specifications, which you can choose to be as detailed as you want, as well as the pricing estimate, which is generated automatically within the iRoofing software after a simple one-time setup with your custom pricing. Your payment schedule. Finally, the signature and any terms and conditions you want to go over with the client. So let's begin. I'm going to start by going into the customer, which in this case we'll use John Smith as an example. By tapping on John's name, it will open his customer profile. From here, I'm going to click Estimate, and then I'll click the plus sign. Now we have three types of estimates you can create in iRoofing. If you'd like to create a full estimate accounting for all materials and pricing, choose Full Estimate. The second option is for a general contractor who would like to offer a quote based on price per squares, but the estimate itself will still look like you've done a full-fledged estimate. The third option, one which I highly recommend, is to create an estimate from a saved template. You can save as many of these templates as you want and then just pull them as needed with all your information saved. You can have a template that pulls information based on the types of roofing materials you sell, for example, complex metal roofing, or it can be a company, as you see on the left, GAF, Owens Corning, and so on and so forth. At the top right, you'll see that I can choose from good, better, and best options by just tapping them to toggle between them. So in that case, I'll choose Atlas. The first step is to verify this is the roof report I wanna use in my estimate. You can use a roof report created in iRoofing, or you can upload one and measure by hand. Most contractors use an iRoofing measurement, which automatically turns into an estimate with materials and pricing you've set up. So the second step is going into materials. The idea here is that the software automatically calculates the coverage, the unit of measure, and all you have to do is enter the price per unit. Once you enter the price per unit, you don't need to repeat this process again as the app saves it. So in that case, I have the total cost of the project, which here is $8,032. Now from that moment on, you can add any general services your company provides. And this could be either calculated by price per unit or as a set price and be added directly from the settings. Labor pricing, whether you do it as a one sum price or price per square or just add the line item labor. Similarly, for tear off costs and waste and dumpster costs. So basically every line item in your estimate can be edited by a price per square or as a one sum price edited within the settings. Notes, it's the same premise, you can customize these standard notes and then add them to your estimate simply by checking them off. Next are photos and it's the same idea here, I'm going to add some photos that I marked up in iRoofing to denote damage to my customer's roof. And on the next screen I'll add photos that I generated through the iRoofing simulator. I do have a separate video covering the simulator, but basically these are renderings of different roof materials you can show a client and help them come to a decision. The next section is profit. You can choose whether it's a total profit or a percentage as well as your tax structure. And next is the payment structure. Based on your agreement with the customer, you would have a breakdown of the payment schedule here and the app will calculate everything automatically for you. After that are the terms and conditions for which you can have a few sets of general terms saved here based on the different jobs you typically do, and these can be uploaded into the app. So basically that's it more or less. Here in this case, just two minutes and 52 seconds it took to create a full estimate from a template. You can also choose to do a price or material order. You can choose the conditions and how details you want them. And then you can share it or save it using one of the options you can see at the bottom. Note that if you choose to do a web estimate, you can have a set time for it to expire. So here we'll look at the full estimate we just created in this video. And as I said before, it's essentially a summary of everything you've done in the app for a particular roofing job. Everything from your logo to project information, photos you've mocked up for the client during your roof inspection process, the measurement report you've generated, simulated photos of their new roof, so this is kind of your whole scope of work here. I chose a semi-detailed estimate that shows the quantities of materials, but not the pricing calculations per line, and I chose to show just the totals there at the bottom. Your payment schedule. Finally, the signature and any terms and conditions you want to go over with the client. 
Now everything that we've done here is customizable. If you'd like to add and remove certain sections, you can. You can also change the order of the sections by just going into your settings. The most important thing is to set up preferences with your account manager beforehand, so you can do all of this at the click of a button. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, call us at 800-646-6270 for free and unlimited training. See you next time.